Uh, good morning. Uh, we are with uh, Adrian Veronk. Uh, congratulations for your victory uh, yesterday at Thank Soto Grande. Thank you. Um, uh, we are in the, you, you are on the, the brand amb ambassador of Lorini. It's the, the first uh, space in, the, in the Spain. Uh, what is your collaboration with the brand? Yeah, it's a company based in Poland and uh, the owners are from the same city as, as me, so, you know, it's a um, great coincidence that we can work together um, to, you know, grow the brand and grow the golf a little bit in Spain. And there's a lot of Polish people here uh, in this area, around Marbella, coming to play golf, so hopefully our co co collaboration can um, attract new clients uh, from Poland, but not only from Poland, and, you know, all over, all over the world, so hopefully uh, it will work well. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's talk to, to golf now. Um, this is your, uh, this is Paul VP World, uh, world Two, winning past the, the third of the race to the right. It's, uh, it's uh, any a strategy for the, for the, for the last of season. Well, so it's called the points. The points. Yeah, there's three more tournaments on okay. the calendar. Uh, I will be playing class two, the, the final in Dubai and the one week before in South Africa. Uh, currently I'm third on the ranking. My goal is to finish top three, but uh, obviously uh, with the win yesterday it gets me closer to the second place. The first is Roy McIlroy, who is really yeah. Uh, far ahead, so it's gonna be hard to catch him even if I win the tournament to be honest. So I can still uh, try to get second place in the ranking, which would be a huge achievement for me. And I will focus on that. I will spend um, one one week in Dubai uh, practicing and preparing for the final. And then as I said, I'm going I'll be going to South Africa and then finally in, in Dubai in the middle of November. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um I know you you both the disappoint and and not make it the the right cup team in, in Rome. And uh, do you think you have proof uh, upon this week? Well, yeah, it was very disappointing uh, for me not to make the the team. Uh, you know, I've had a great year. Uh, I was very close, and I thought personally that I've done enough to be on on that team. So. Uh, it was very disappointing that I didn't play there, but I'm glad it's over. Uh, and, you know, I can focus on my game to move forward, to keep improving and to keep getting better, improving my world ranking. Um, but I didn't, I didn't think I have to prove any point. I believe in myself. I know how well I can play. And um, whoever doubted me, I hope, you know, the win yesterday can prove the point to them, but I didn't focus on that. I just want to focus on my game and keep going forward. And do you think, uh, do you think about the track to Sotogram? Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, it was the first time for me. Uh, we always played this tournament at Valderrama, which is just yeah. next door. But Sotogram was great, great golf course. I really enjoyed it. Um, the weather was a little bit tricky yeah. uh, with the high winds and rain, but that makes you know the golf tournament more uh, interesting for the fans and for players as well because it's more dramatic. Uh, you have to get um, adjusted for uh, you know for tough weather conditions, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a great week, and um, I'll be definitely back next year. And the fans? Yeah, the fans were great. Uh, unfortunately, because of the weather, uh, there were not too many, uh, but uh, I had a lot of Polish. Supporters uh, who came on the weekend, and even the Spanish uh, people supported me, uh, which was nice. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about the the popularity of golf and what to do to make the the, the sport more accessible to the people. To yeah, the um, so golf is still a very small sport, if you can say that. And it's not very popular. Um, we don't have much tradition. tradition. Uh, golf is a very you know, young sport in Poland. 
uh, but it's changing from year to year, it's growing, there's more golf courses being built, uh, there's more junior uh, starting playing golf. Last week I had my um, junior tournament, uh, it was like 120 juniors playing in the tournament. I spent some time with them, so it's nice to see, you know, it's growing. Also, uh, my job is to grow, grow golf back in Poland, so hopefully if I keep playing well, if I keep winning tournaments, if people see me, you know, at Olympics competing with the best in the world, um, they can say, okay, this is sport that you can, you know, play in Poland, then hopefully that can, that can grow the game. Uh, but definitely it grows from year to year, so hopefully we can, uh, you know, move it. Okay, uh, Spain and Marbella is uh, a part uh, for, for golf course, and, and to live in the area. Uh, what is your experience in the, in the area? Yeah, I've been coming to Marbella uh, quite a bit, almost every year. We always have tournament, at least one tournament around uh, Marbella. Even I remember when I was a young kid, I was coming here with, pa with my parents for like a golf vacation uh, every year. And then when I turned pro, I, I was coming here every year to play, play tournaments. And I, and I know a lot of people that play golf, uh, my friends and even like people from all around Europe uh, come here in the summer and in the winter because it's a great weather all year round and there's a lot of good golf courses. So I think it's like a golf paradise in, in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for, your, uh, for you, uh, is uh, it's golf uh, a lifestyle, a, a way of life? Yeah, you can say that, you know, golf, because of golf, I travel the world. I've been to so many countries, I meet so many great people. Um, play, you know, so many good golf courses, so it's a lifestyle for me. Um, my life is all around the golf. It's my job, but it's also my passion. And yeah, I don't know what else would I be doing if I didn't play golf, so I, I, I really enjoy it. And if you, if you see how golf is growing worldwide, a lot of people starting to play other than traveling the world, and you can definitely say it's a lifestyle that, um, that it's very you know, attractive to people. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, Lorini is a, a brand based uh, on respect of the environment. Um, how do, do you think this complements uh, with uh, golf? Yeah, I mean golf, it's played outdoor in nature. Uh, the golf courses are you know, based in like nature, you know, next to sea, in forests, it's all green grass, so I think it's very important that the brand um, thinks about the environment and um, goes together with it. So I think it comes very close to golf as well. So, um, you know, Lorini and golf uh, make sense together. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias.